2019. And for those that need a little bit of context, I am doing a short series on social media advertising. Uh, we have a trunk or treat activity coming up uh, on uh, actually on Halloween, October 31st, uh, Thursday, which is about six days from now. 5 to 7 p.m. As I mentioned previously, if you want to debate the biblicality of doing a Halloween activity, well, activity around Halloween, then feel free to debate that, but I'm not interested in that right now. Uh, but I want to talk social media advertising. I have had good success in the past with some advertising on Facebook and the like, and want to give you kind of a, a real-time current uh, use case that might be helpful to you to give you some tips or tricks or just inspire you to decide to go ahead and start doing social media advertising. I believe every Bible-believing church should be using it effectively um, and extensively. And so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, something like that. But without further ado, let's talk social media advertising. Now, if you need a little bit more background on why I'm walking around with a camera in my face talking about social media, then uh, check out the blog post that's linked in the uh, description down below. I'll give you a little bit more information about uh, why I'm talking about what I'm talking about. If you did not take the time to read that blog post, that's all right. I'll give you a really quick recap. I talked about the ad itself, the content, what it looks like. I showed you what it actually looks like on Facebook in the actual ad. Um, and then I also gave you some quick stats on how much we are spending uh, per family that's registered and currently uh, I'm sitting at as of right now Friday October 25th this morning uh, about 84 different families registered and still spending less than 65 cents per family now that doesn't mean they're all going to come uh, but that's still pretty good considering most of those family units represents four five six people and so I'm pretty happy with that now today we're gonna talk about for just a minute about about budget, about how much it costs, because I know that's for anybody, but especially Baptist pastors and people that have to deal with church budgets, that's one of the biggest uh, determiners of about whether or not you're going to sink money into something. And that's one of the coolest things, one of the most interesting things about social media advertising is that you can spend almost as little as you want. You can start an ad for as little as $1 a day. And so you could test and you can play with different things. Sorry, looking for something here. It's not here. Um, you can start to, to, to dabble with this thing, this, uh, this real beast of, of a tool for a dollar a day. Now, I'm currently running, if you read the blog post, I'm running three ads. One of them uh, has a $10 a day budget and the other two have $5 a day budgets. They just have slight differences, not real uh, big, big things in between them. But um, you could start an ad and you could test this out for $1 a day and you can figure out what works, what doesn't work. Uh, last year when we did our kids' Christmas party, where the first time I really grabbed a hold of this thing and had success with it, I started like three, four, five ads for just $1 a day. So I was spending, you know, three to $5 a day, figured out what worked and then started putting money behind it. And uh, so I would highly recommend you give it a try. If you have questions about budget and those things, let me know. Um, I think this tool will be a huge help to you uh, if you use it properly. And uh, you know, I've, I've heard people say, you know, they threw $20 at it and nothing happened. Well, if I can be blunt, that might be user error. Um, if you're holding the wrong end of the hammer, you know, it's not going to work right. And so uh, give it a try. And uh, if you have questions about it, let me know. Tomorrow or the next couple days, we're going to talk about the audience that I'm shooting this ad towards. I talk about the demographics that I chose, the, the age, all those different types of things. And uh, please feel free to let me know if you have questions. And if you enjoy this, let someone else know about it. Greatly appreciate that. This has been... Uh, trunk or treat series number or episode number two i guess uh, read that blog post let somebody know about it and uh, we'll talk to you all very soon